Now, Sunday morning, there's still so many unanswered questions when it comes to Down syndrome, but an organization that's leading the way for more education and research is based right here in Colorado. And joining me now is Michelle C. Witten, Executive Director of Global Down Syndrome Foundation. Thank you. Always great to see you. Thank you for having me. So when it comes to an research and the, and the latest, I mean, obviously you got involved and started this because sure. of Sophia. So sure. tell me about, you know, what is the latest research when it comes to Down syndrome? Well, I think we're really leading the way in cutting edge research in the nation, probably the world. <clears throat> and Alzheimer's is a big one. So we have recruited one of the best scientists in Alzheimer's research who's looking at the co-occurrence. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, about 50% of our kids with Down syndrome will get early onset of Alzheimer's. So that's a big one, and we're doing some really exciting research in that area. And then we just gave our first CERNIC Grand Challenge grants, about 1.3 million. Wow. And some of that is really exciting and could even lead to results in two years, like our autoimmune disorder uh, co-occurrence uh, study is really looking great. I know you've worked with uh, a lot of officials, not just on a local level, but a national mm -hmm. level as well. Sure. So what seems to be the biggest challenge, if any, mm -hmm. when right. it comes to getting more funds and awareness for right. uh, Down syndrome? Sure. I think over the last uh, decade or so, there's been a defunding of Down syndrome, kind of like, oh, well, that's hopeless. We're not going to invest in any medical care or research, basic research. So that hasn't helped us. And then you have the economy right. and the government downsizing, and that's hugely challenging. So keeping even the small status quo has been a small victory, and then getting a little bit more has been another small victory. But we got a long way to go. I think it's not just your organization feeling it, yes. feeling the crunches all across the board. So mm -hmm. you have to kind of think of creative ways in some ways to kind of engage right. the community and sure. um, for people to be involved in one of the biggest fashion shows I know is coming up yes, here. That's right. Um, tell us about the event. Well, because of the NIH funding, we have to raise our own money. Yeah. And so we have a fashion show next Saturday, September 28th. We've got lots of celebrities. We've got our 19 models with Down syndrome who are going to rock the runway. And um, it's almost sold out. We have about 50 more seats left. Okay. So it's very exciting. Yeah, it's going to be great. There's yeah. something unique this year as well, right? Yes, yes. Um, we're going to uh, really highlight the five ambassadors. We have a chair. Her name is Ricky Rest. Mm -hmm. And she is leading the way with this kind of new format to celebrate five years because we have been around five years. Right. Good time to look back and say, wow, we have established a C Center at Children's Hospital that has seen 600 patients. Uh, we were seeing all sorts of uh, research happening, programs happening. So it's kind of a celebration of five years. All the funds will does it stay here or? Oh yeah. So the funds, of course, um, uh, primarily the grant recipients are here, mm -hmm. but they may have co-investigators at Harvard, at University of Pennsylvania, or even um, in Israel. You know, sure. so so research is kind of global. Okay, then Michelle, always mm -hmm. good to see you. Thank you again. Tickets are Thank still you. available. Um, this event, the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself Fashion Show, will be Saturday, September 28th at the Sheraton Downtown Hotel. Mm -hmm. For more information, we posted a link on our website. The DenverChannel.com. Just click on that big red TV button and you can get your tickets there.